how's it going? I got another uh, review and uh, unboxing today to do. This is Star Aces Pulp Fiction Jules Winfield. Uh, they're out of Hong Kong. They uh, uh, came out with two uh, Pulp Fiction figures. I got the other one coming soon, but this is the first one to arrive. I don't know why they weren't released simultaneously, but uh, this is part of the My Favorite Movie series. So I have to imagine that they're also going to have uh, some negotiation for licensing to do other uh, figures as well along these lines of uh, uh, mass-produced figures based on people's wish lists because I know there have been a quite a few customs floating around out there. There were also uh, two uh, talking figures that came out a while back about uh, I think three years ago now but uh, they weren't quite up to par. So this is the quality that we expect from a 1-6 scale figure and uh, we're going to open it up and see what's going on with it. All right, so the box is, a, is a pretty interesting. It's got the uh, Velcro flap. I haven't seen this for a while now with figures. So you get uh, immediate gratification to see what you're uh, getting. Uh, if, if I'm a, a purchaser, like I know that some comic book shops have uh, six scale figures. Um, if I'm casual per, casual purchaser, and I'm walking through a comic shop and they have this available where I know exactly what I'm getting versus the glorified, maybe Photoshop, maybe not uh, professional pictures that are done on the website of the figure producer. Uh, I like this idea. So uh, let's crack her open. All right, so right off the bat, the stand fell out. Uh, it's got the, the Pulp Fiction labeling here. It is painted on. It's not a sticker. And uh, the only complaint I have there is that they don't have the uh, nameplate that Hot Toys tends to do and some other figures. Comes with the stand there. right to the juice. Okay, let's see. First impressions on the figure. Uh, the pants are a little, a little thick. Um, not exactly what I'm used to seeing with the materials that are used with the 1-6 scale figures. It kind of reminds me of how they used to do six scale figures where they used a thicker material for lack of a better option and they didn't really consider that you want to, in order to, to get the, the, sim, the similar creases that you would with a full scale person, you need to small scale the thickness of the material. And um, so it's a little stiff. Also, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to tell from looking at it through the video, but the hair has a, a sort of um, tan sheen to it. So it's not completely black. It almost looks like he's got highlights, like blonde highlights in his hair, which is a little weird, a little off. I'm probably gonna have to touch that up. And, um, the paint job on the face is a little flat. I have to add that in there. It actually looks from the head sculpt like they simply copied or maybe even used the same mold from the head sculpt that's been floating around for quite some time, for the last few years. There's, I'm sure some of you uh, collectors know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, there's a, a, uh, a head sculpt that has been copied several times now and resold and uh, this looks very similar to it. Also, the hairline uh, on, his, on his forehead is a little, a little too flat. Uh, it, it, it almost seems like uh, uh, too manicured, too styled. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't protrude as much as it should. So it just looks like flattened bangs. It's a little weird.
But, uh, uh, the shoes are also lacking in, in detail. So if you look at the shoes, they're, they're, I've got a gloss to it, but it really isn't well done. It's just uh, your typical $2 on eBay out of China shoe. Let's take a look at some of the accessories. So the gun is good. I like it, it's weathered. The slide doesn't work. So the, the magazine does come out. Oops. And it does have a painted bullet inside as well. But the, uh, the slide is not operational. It has three hands. It looks like uh, one for holding the cup, one for holding the weapon, and uh, yeah, one just uh, pointing, I guess. Or for holding the hamburger, because uh, he's got that big kahuna burger, remember? And also a tasty soda. And it has Big Kahuna printed on it. So nice touch there. All right, so underneath, we've got the uh, t-shirt, shorts, and alternate feet with sandals. So if you remember in the film, they had to uh, they had to wear, borrow these clothes from the house they were at. It has the print pattern, just like in the movie. Little cartoon characters on it. Got your pair of shorts, pretty standard red shorts. And you've got the alternate feet with the sandals. The sandals don't come off. The sandals are sculpted in there. So, I'm not even into doing this review just because I'm, I'm that disappointed with the figure. I'm, I've lost my motivation for even doing this video. Uh, I had a custom figure. I actually had a custom figure of, of him and Travolta that I had for a while and I paid a pretty good price for them. And when I found out that Star Ace was produ mass producing their own version of them, uh, I, I maybe have jumped the gun because I sold my figures right away, my customs, in anticipation of getting these. And I figured they'd be better and I was wrong. And that was a gamble that I will regret. So Travolta's on the way. Maybe the sculpt is a little bit better with him, but uh, so far I do regret making this purchase. And uh, I'm also waiting on the Gangster's Kingdom um, knockoff of Pulp Fiction that are supposed to be coming out soon. It's been delayed a little bit. Maybe I'll uh, change out some of the stuff, maybe like the suits or something like that, because the Gangster's Kingdom tends to be a little bit better quality than obviously this. So a little side note that I wanted to add uh, to share with you guys. So I think you could see a little bit better the what I was talking about with the hair. In this picture, you can tell there's some, there's some volume to it, there's dimension, but if you look at the head sculpt, uh, there really isn't. It just kind of, it flattens with the head sculpt itself. So they could have done that a little bit better. Maybe even had it, uh, uh, instead of sculpting the hair, added the hair afterwards, like a lot of figures are doing. Also, I uh, forgot to share with you that this uh, bracelet is included. It's uh, flexible, so pretty hard to break. And uh, one thing that is missing is that necklace. That's not included. And it would have helped if they included his uh, famous bad motherfucker wallet. That isn't included as well. 
But if you go on Etsy, I forget the name of the guy, but he sells uh, that wallet. I don't know if he still sells it, but I bought it from him a while back. And uh, it's pretty good detailing on it as well. So that's one option for you. Otherwise, you could try making your own as well. Anyways, thank you.